So, Mike, one of the things that's interesting to me is thinking about how all the structures that you deal with every day and our team deals with every day, how, how do they impact the grid, not only today, but as you look forward in the future? Yeah, so what's interesting about the grid is it's considered one of the most complex machines that that human beings have ever produced. I mean, very complex. The thing about electricity is you need to use it the instantly that moment that you make it. It has to be used and created, created and used. And uh, that process, of course, has to be balanced. So with our structures, of course, we're supporting all these lines and we're making sure that they're, they're resisting all of the loads, all of the, and I lost my train of thought, <laughs> resisting all of the loads, um, uh, and the thing about lines is you have uh, normally a grid is is developed based on assuming what's called a n minus one contingency event. What that means is any one line can go out of service and the rest of the grid will backfeed itself and keep the grid up and stabilized. Because if you start losing two or more lines to any to any portion of the grid, you can start affecting the voltage, and that voltage drops, and then you start have to sh start having to shed load. There's a whole remediation scheme involved in the operation of the grid, and so our structures are critically important, of course, uh, that they are strong enough and they withstand the storm events that we expect them to withstand, such that these n minus two events, if they occur or what's called black sky events, uh, very, very large storms, mm -hmm. uh, will not impact the grid. And an example of that was, uh, is Superstorm Sandy. Okay, Remember when that occurred on the eastern seaboard? It took a lot of structures. They lost over 80,000 wood poles in the distribution side. But the transmission side, that that's the backbone. It remained pretty well. I mean, mm -hmm. it didn't really get affected that much. And so, again, very good performance on the grid. And, uh, and so we have to keep in mind and keep that to the center of our mind that we understand our, our process that we use for design is critically important to keep the grid up and running because outages are not acceptable today. Yep. They're, they're much less acceptable today than they were even 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's important, and we have a lot of pressure to keep that going. And, uh, and so we need to do due diligence on the engineering side to make sure that we meet the requirements of the load, make sure that we are, are doing what we need to do to keep this system in check and doing it with integrity, of course. Absolutely. And it, it is always interesting, Mike, where a lot of folks that aren't in our industry, you just turn the light switch on, you expect it to work. And it is a very complicated system to go from generation to light switch working and, and all of the hardworking men and women that make that happen That's behind right. the scenes. It's, it's a terribly complex um, uh, industry. And, you know, I'm always excited about our impact on that industry and how we can help support our clients, which is just fantastic. Mm -hmm. Agreed.